All right, so I finally made the switch over to DWM and good Lord, can I just go ahead and say something? DWM is fast as hell. If you have not given DWM a try just because it is one of the more difficult tiling window managers to get started with because they don't have an easy to use config file, you're actually gonna be working with the source code, you're gonna to have to compile it. This is one of the many negatives that people talk about when it comes to DWM. And when I say many, I really, I really don't mean many as in like there's a ton of problems with it. I just mean everyone talks about the fact that you're going to have to work with source code. And a critical part of that is the patching that comes with DWM. Um, you're going to have to do a lot of patching if when you install DWM, you don't like how it works out of the box, you're most likely going to have to patch quite a few things. Like for me, I did patch and get this, uh, trans the bar up here transparent. I, I added the alpha patch to my DWM to get that working. To be honest, DWM is not really that difficult to configure. I know it might sound crazy for me to say that, but really in all honesty, I was prepped and ready for something that was much, much more difficult. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up my config file and show you sort of what I've gotten changed in there. All right, so here inside of my config file, you can see I, I'm really just setting up some colors here. I've um, also, I believe I, I, it's right here. Yeah, this G app X here. This is part of the um, gaps between windows. So you'll see if I open up another terminal here, you'll see there's a gap in between it. Um, and that's a patch that you have to add. Um, so I patched that. I added my fonts and everything, setting up the colors the tags, which I really just copied this from uh, DistroTube, which by the way, DistroTube, thank you very much, man. I'm not even gonna change a thing about your icons because they look great and, I mean, gives me plenty of options. I, I like it. So just in case you wanna get the same thing I've got here going on, I have not uploaded any of my DWM files to my GitLab, so if you wanna sort of get what I've got going on here, you probably wanna go over and check out DistroTube's GitLab, but, I should be uploading my files sometime tomorrow. So as long as you're not watching this real soon after it's posted, there's a good chance that my files will be up on GitLab if you wanna go over there and check them out. But to be honest, when it comes to DWM out of the box, it actually comes pretty well configured. Compared to most other Tiling window managers, a lot of it just works the way you would expect. The one thing I will say though is, is when you open up a window, let's say I've got my terminal browser open here and I open up another window, let's say I open up my web browser, here you'll see in DWM it actually, your the window that you've just now opened will actually load up as the um, new main window, like your main stack, which I actually do prefer. I don't have a problem with it at all. Um, I actually like it. I'm I'm not even going to change it. So to be honest, yes, DWM can be a little annoying because um, you've got to recompile it and do all that. But it is extremely performant compared to Qtile. This is much faster, much faster. And really, in all honesty, I've I probably spent about four hours getting this all set up and configured exactly how I want it. I've been messing around with it um, for a while now, but I haven't really spent the time to go in and configure it exactly how I want it and figure out exactly what patches I want. To be honest, it took me about four hours and that's only because I had to, um, I can't remember which patch it was that I had to manually do myself that took forever. I think it was the alpha patch. I can't remember, but one of the patches I had to manually do myself and it, it was just a lot of changes that needed to be done. So it took me a long time. To be honest, I probably opened up the wrong patch or something like that and didn't need to do it all myself manually. However, I did and that's what took up most of the time. Really, in all honesty, it's not as complicated as people make it out to be. However, I will say one thing, even though I've spent 
quite a few hours configuring it. You can tell up here in the top corner, it's still just saying DWM up here. I know how to get that changed. I know how to configure it, but right now I'm sort of seeing what I can do. I'm trying to set up some scripts right now that will you know, um, check my battery, volume, all that different stuff, and uh, just display it all up on the screen and I, I want to do that all myself write my own scripts and, and do it myself so i'm i'm sort of messing around with that right now which i guess is one of the main things to say about dwm is if you're just now getting into tiling window managers and you really don't know exactly what's going on right now or what i'm really talking about go check out, I've got a couple Qtile videos. I will throw them up in cards right now. Go check those videos out, Qtile, and there's other, there's other different options out there, but I, I always recommend Qtile. Qtile's written in Python, so if you're new um, to programming in general, Python is for one, a great starting place. And I gotta be honest, Qtile just works. It's, it's actually pretty fast. However, DWM, I mean, this thing is just way more performant. I can actually tell a noticeable speed improvement. I, I can't lie to you. Qtile is not slow by any means. It's not slow, but I wasn't expecting to be able to see such a performance difference between it and DWM. I am presently su pleasantly surprised. Good job, DWM devs. Boys over at Suckless, you're doing good. You're doing good. I like your stuff. I like it a lot. And if you haven't given it a shot, check it out. It's great. If you're the type of person that likes to tinker with your system, this is the Tiling Window Manager for you. It's great. It is just a tinkerer's delight. You can go in and it, I mean, to be honest, DWM has sort of, sparked me to go in and try and do different other weird complex things with my system. So I, I very much have enjoyed it and I will continue to enjoy it because I'll be using it for quite a while and you'll probably see it in my future videos. So if you want to see them, hit that subscribe button. Maybe, just maybe, if you like the video, click the like button. It helps out a ton. And then go over and check me out over on Odyssey. It's down in the description. You'll definitely want to go over there. You get, you know, paid in LBC, which is a cryptocurrency that the platform is based off of. You get paid in that and you can give it to your favorite content creators over there. And there are plenty of them as well as myself. You can support all of us over there and it is much appreciated. And it's fantastic because, you know, you won't get thrown freaking ads all the time, which I don't even, I, I think I've got it selected where it doesn't show ads on my channel, but... Yeah, I highly doubt YouTube respects that choice. So again, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Tell me if you didn't. Tell me if you did. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.